here in this video on the problem of principal stresses in plane we have a question it is given that at a point in a strained material as shown in figure the diagram is given and with the help of this diagram we have to find normal and tangential stresses so i'll write the data for this first is sigma x 150 newton per mm square tau shear stress 50 newton per mm square we have to find normal stress which is sigma n and tangential stress sigma sub 60 on this oblique section which is the plane here oblique plane given on this plane we have to find the stresses so now once we have the plane let us see how to get the solution so here in the solution part if i can say that since the inclined plane is given now i am taking just a part of this diagram the inclination of the plane is given with respect to the vertical here which is 30 degree so this inclination is given as 30 degree so even the inclination here will be 30 that is of the oblique plane with respect to vertical because by alternate angle so therefore theta becomes 30 degree because this 30 degree of the oblique plane we have to know the angle of the oblique plane with respect to the vertical that we know it is 30 degree so now once we know the angle we can start solving the problem i'll write that since for a body subjected to stress in one direction accompanied by shear stress normal stress acting on oblique plane which is the plane here this is the oblique plane is given by we have the formula that normal stress for such a condition in which we have a normal stress and shear stress the formula is sigma x by 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta plus tau into sin 2 theta this is the formula of normal stress so therefore putting the values here sigma x is 150 cos 2 into 30 plus tau 50 so therefore sigma n comes out to be 155.8 newton per mm square the first answer after getting the value of normal stress we'll find the tangential stress therefore tangential stress on oblique plane is given by we have the formula as sigma t is equal to sigma x by 2 sin 2 theta minus tau cos 2 theta so putting the values here sigma x it is 150 theta is 30 degree so here sigma t comes out to be 39.95 newton per mm square so this is the second answer now if we look into the question they were saying us to calculate sigma n and sigma t on this oblique plane we have found both the values and once we know both the values we can say that 
the problem has been completed. 